The final episode of the year airs next Wednesday 20th November in a 90-minute special, which will see Cash with blood on his hands, Harper faced with a tough decision, and two favorites share a kiss. Now, the show has released the official promo, teasing what's in store as we say goodbye to Summer Bay for another year. Keep scrolling to view the promo in full. While Theo invited Abby for a date, he was forced to reject her after discovering that she had a history with drugs, fearful that it could cause problems for him after his ordeal with Valerie earlier in the year. With Theo now out of the picture, the stage is set for romance between Molly and Abigail. You're not denying it anymore, Mackenzie tells her housemate. You've got a crush on Abby. In the final week, Abigail surprises Molly by organizing and successfully pulling off the gala day for the board shop. Molly and Kirby have spent the past few weeks planning the event to promote Manor A boards, but Molly cancelled it after discovering that his creative agency had doctored the promotional poster by altering Kirby's image, making her thinner and whitening her skin. Despite Molly's decision to cancel the event, Abby decides that Molly's business deserves the promotion, and surprises him by putting it on anyway. The pair are related with the crowds the last-minute event has drawn and, caught up in the moment, share a kiss on the beach. The new trailer also focuses on Tane and Harper, who are having a baby together after their one-night stand earlier this year saw Harper fall pregnant. Tane had always wanted to be a dad, and while his baby with Harper may not have been planned, he eventually realized that she could provide the family he'd always wanted. Recent weeks have seen the pair tentatively embark on a relationship but Harper is about to doubt their future together. Initial spoilers for the 2024 season finale revealed that Harper will suffer a pregnancy scare in the final week, as she faces the difficult decision of whether to let doctors operate on her unborn baby. But before that, in tonight's Australian episode, Harper realizes that she and Tane have very little to talk about other than the upcoming birth of their baby, as she begins to wonder whether Tane is only with her as a result of her pregnancy. Tane and I are only together because of the baby, she tells Dana, as she sets Dane the challenge of 24 hours without talking about her pregnancy. Before long, it becomes clear that without the bug to talk about, they have nothing to say to one another. Things then go from bad to worse when Harper suffers abdominal pains, and learns that her baby's life is at risk. In the final week of the year, Harper is rushed to hospital, where Levi reveals that a scan has uncovered that her unborn baby has a cyst on its lungs. It's putting pressure on their organs, which could result in heart failure if they don't fix the issue. Explains that a risky in your era surgery could correct the issue, however, he warns her that the surgery could result in her going into premature labor. And Dana begin to weigh up the decision, but it seems Harper has already made up her mind, she's not going to put her child in danger by undergoing the risky surgery. Lose this baby, does that mean I lose Dane too? She asks her sister. However, her refusal to undergo the surgery means that not only is she putting her baby's life at risk, she's endangering her own life too. Finally, earlier this week, TV Week teased that someone would end up with blood on their hands in the final week of 2024. The new promo reveals that to be cash, though it's unclear exactly whose blood it is, or whether he was responsible. The trailer recaps some of the events of the past few weeks, which have seen Cash make it his mission to dig dirt on counselor Tim Russell, after learning that he was dating his former fiancé Eden. Cash explained that he had a bad feeling about Eden's new boyfriend, especially after learning that the pair met via Abby, who Tim was counseling for her addiction issues. Last week, Cash began to investigate Tim, searching his car and contacting anyone and everyone from his life, past and present. At the end of last week, Cash got in contact with Narada Mullins, one of Tim's former clients. Cash found Narada after stumbling upon a review she had left for Tim on his online profile. The fact she had left three heart emojis made Cash suspicious, and he messaged Narada on social media site FaceCloud, asking to chat, and she later replied with her phone number. Narada explained that she and Tim dated while Tim was her counselor, which set alarm bells ringing. But is she telling the whole truth? When Eden questioned Tim on whether he'd ever dated one of his clients, he denied it, leaving Eden torn between her new boyfriend and her former fiancé, which of them was lying to her.